Hi. Do you see him? Do you see him? Oh, he's holding an apple. Sure. We're trying to find the area of a sector. But first, let's see how we can find that formula. I need to set up another proportion. What do I mean? I need to set up the proportion between the whole circle and the part of circle that we're trying to find the area of. We're trying to find how much is inside that sector. So here we go. We set up the area of the whole dang thing divided by the rotation it takes to get there. And it's 2 pi. But what is my area? I believe it's a uh, pi r squared. Yeah, sure. So that's pi r squared. And then, uh, uh, we see we have one half r squared is equal to. Now, the book I'm using is using this fancy a for area of a sector divided by that theta. So we're trying to find the area. I'm going to multiply both sides by theta, and we see that we can find our area of a sector formula to be half r squared theta. So now we can go to r squared. Example, here um, they give us that 12.7 centimeters is our radius and um, our theta is 81 degrees. Oh, wheeze. what are we going to use? We are going to use that that fancy area is going to be half r squared theta. But we have a little problem. And you're like, what's your problem? Yeah, our problem is this is in degrees. So I guess this is our all in moment. Because we need it in radians, so we convert that dang thing. We take 81 degrees and we're going to multiply it by our translator pi over 180. So then what do we get? We get 81 one eightieths. Pi, and then that's going to be the theta we're going to use. So then we're going to use that up here. Where? With this. This thing. Is going to be key to our problem. Our area is one half our radius, which was 12.7 squared times our Theta, which isn't that theta, well, I guess it is, but, boom, we translated it into radians because our form needs radians, and then we're going to multiply that by 81 over 180 pi, and then we're going to throw that into our calculator and see what that is. So, we go, and we take one half of 12.7, we're going to square that, we're going to multiply it by 81 over 180, and we're going to multiply that by pi. So, 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 that's 20.52-ish, but what are our units? Are they G's? G units? No! They're centimeters squared. grow a pair of flowers. Oops! <laughs> Before you bomb the comments up, I miscalculated that when I threw it in here. What should this be? Ah! 20.5! Aw, oh, jeez. I really wanted that to be 180. And that's how we get 114.009. This was 114.009-ish. Whoops. I did it again. I feel like Brittany.